This is really yeah. special. That's yeah. St George's Chapel behind us yeah. there, and we got to go uh, inside for mm -hmm. a, a rare opportunity uh, to film there. At this time on Saturday, we will be looking inside St George's Chapel. We will know uh, what the wedding dress uh, looks like. We will know whether Meghan is walking down the aisle on her own or who she is walking with. And as you're going to see, it's going to be really spectacular. Behind the walls of Windsor Castle, NBC News was given rare access to St George's Chapel, the church where Harry and Meghan will marry Saturday. Housing hundreds of years of history, it's the heart of British royal life. The wedding will begin at midday in the UK, that's 7 a.m. on the East Coast, and this is where the most important part of the ceremony will be held. Among the 600 guests, the Queen will be seated right there, and at that altar, that is where Prince Harry will marry Meghan Markle. Here, in just 48 hours, a union of the British royal family with America, a modern marriage in the most traditional of settings, where an Episcopalian bishop from Chicago will give a reading during the Church of England service. Moses and went to the, and took the chapel holds 800 guests, but only 600 people have been invited, not even filling it to capacity. The guest list mixing Diana's family with royals including Charles's wife Camilla and a reported sprinkling of celebrities. When William married Kate in Westminster Abbey, a lavish English country garden was created inside the abbey. Harry and Meghan will use seasonal blooms from around Windsor, created by florist Philippa Craddock. Some of the music will not be so traditional. We'll hear from the Kingdom Gospel Choir, as well as 2016 Young British Musician of the Year, Sheku Kana Mason. This is the largest inhabited castle in the world, 20 miles from London, but a world away. The chapel built 500 years ago. Some of England's most famous and controversial kings are buried here. They will literally walk over the tomb of King Henry VIII. More recently, the chapel has hosted many royal weddings. Harry's father, Prince Charles, had his wedding to Camilla Parker Bowles blessed here. Harry's uncle, Prince Edward, married his bride, Sophie. And Princess Anne's son, Peter, married here. Of all the newly married royal couples who've descended these steps, none perhaps will be as closely watched as Harry and Meghan. And their royal life together will begin with a carriage ride through the streets. From California to Canada, to joining the royal family, Meghan Markle's new life will begin here, surrounded by royals past and present, the enormity of her new role symbolized in this place as she takes her vows. Isn't that something? It is <laughs> difficult to put into words, Hoda, what it is like down there at the choir in that church. It is so intimate. It's a really small area. It glows. The Queen will be there. Prince Charles will be there. The Duke of Edinburgh will be there as Harry and Meghan Try to get their vows right. I cannot. <laughs> a little bit of pressure. This. this is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Kier. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.